to an easy topping for the scones prior to baking. Take some paper towels, clean ones. <laughs> You're gonna fold it in quarters, and this is gonna make a nice sponge. We're gonna put it inside a bowl, add some fresh water. The goal is that the paper towel is going to get wet so that the toppings can stick, but that way it doesn't make the dough get soggy and it doesn't get a lot of water in your toppings. The easy way, tap, tap. If you're feeling skilled, go ahead and do two at a time. We have a nice crack coating. This is going to be very helpful, especially with the chocolate. Sometimes when the scones are processed, there's extra flour on the surface, which can make the tops look gray. The same flour that's on the bottom, it helps you just to coat it. It gives it a more rustic artisan appearance, kind of a candy crackle on top. Not required, but it's just one more way that you can customize your scones. We're going to talk about some easy ways to go ahead and finish off your scones. One of the easiest to start with, take the RTS frosting ready to spread. We have both vanilla and chocolate. You can melt them in a double bath or in the microwave. Okay. The first way is just to dip. them on the tray. This is how we also do for the biscotti. And you want it warm enough that it flows, but not hot enough that it pours. You don't want it to separate. If it gets too warm, you can always cut some room temperature frosting back into it to help thicken it up a little bit. Or just let it cool for a minute or two. If you don't have time to dip each one, you can also use a glove tan to string ice the entire tray. You can also make really great colors with the vanilla frosting. Add a few drops and celebrate for each season. It just gives some great color contrast. And you can even put a second coat. Let these dry before packaging or before building your display tray. If you don't have time to do any frosting or you are gonna transport your samples, transport them without the frosting or use these easy examples that we did earlier. Apply your toppings before baking. This was our coarse sugar. You can also do it with regular uh, table sugar. Or you can do the cookie toppings, your choice of whether it was the Corels, the almonds, the sugar, or just regular sprinkles. These are very easy to put in packaging, sell by the cash register, no mess, no fuss, easy to bake.